Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's video. Yeah, so I want you to look at your LCD. As we always tell you before, you know, um, the LCD, you know, every, every um, presentation we've done, it's, you know, it's educational to inform you, the people in Jamaica and the diaspora, to what is happening in Jamaica with our politics. You know, it seems like some people, uh, not some people, seem like the PMP criminal organization want to take us back to the 70s, where they use um, terrorism um, to win elections, to drive fear in other people. So all of you, if you love cr um, killing and killing and killing, killing each other as, as Jamaicans, you just ride with Mark Golden. I am telling you that. I am not telling you to vote for no other party. I tell you if you vote for PMP, if you love killing, yes. So, um... Today is not really about um, Tyson that was killed, you know. Um, it's about the woman, Melissa Silvera. She was warned, you know. She was warned. Yeah, man. She was warned by, yes, Melissa Silvera was warned by a PMP woman. A member, a, a woman who's a member of the PMP criminal organization. Yes, she had warned. She had sent it out, you know, last year. Um, that she had warned Melissa Silvia and other women within the PMP criminal organization that is a murdering cult. She is a member, you know, she is from my community at Jonestown. Yeah, she wasn't born here, but she was raised here. I'm not going to tell her, tell you the viewers her name. So the reason why you're seeing, you're looking right now at um, Tyson. Um, that's the, the council yeah, that they killed over there in um, South Barrow. And you won't believe. I'm, we're just gonna give you. So uh, uh, you're looking at the man now that said, "Do the babs, do the babs." Um, the PMP, um, LGBTQ plus member of the um, the criminal organization from Craigtown. He was imported there by Tyson, um, to you know kill Liberate. Tyson was a Liberate before he switched. You know, you understand. That's why you see turn quote. Why uh, it's a bad thing. If you are PMP or you are Liberate, you just stick where you stay. I saw me believe. You understand what I'm saying. If a man wants to change a theme thing that, but you know, turn quotes can't change anytime. Them not have no loyalty. That's all me. That's my perspective. If a man in a labor right and him turn PMP, well, if him want to, you know, him claim say, boy, I'm just re, him, you know, have, have that Jesus moment, that is thing that, but as to me, you know, them kind of people, them don't normally trust them and them thing, and vice versa. If a man in a labor right and turn PMP, me not trust them and them thing. You suppose so? Uh, after you reach a certain age, you're supposed to come to a conclusion and say, yeah, based on this, this is how I stick with and this is my belief. As for me, me I tell you, I'm born and raised in a PMP community. And, all right, I can tell you this. A one Prime Minister, I have the utmost respect for Anna Edward Siaga. Reason being, Edward Siaga made me safe as a youth growing up in the 80s. Yeah, living in a PMP community, concrete jungle. And a guy, and, and, and a guy where no guy wants to say, and that me I tell you. I could have walked anywhere and nobody trouble us. And I like somebody from Concrete Jungle, Jonestown, tell me, say, I like me, I tell. If in the 80s wasn't the best time for you living there when Edward Siaga was Prime Minister, if you were afraid of any Bib guy from Bibo Passe, Bibo Passe guy, them, wool them corner, Pegasus guy, them, all and every guy, we have them gun and them thing, because as them come out, I tell you, Isaiah Leng, special operation to step them out. Believe you me, a guy have gone them time, a guy hide. Him not make you know say him have gone. Because if you know, and you tell them, any time them come, him will find it, and I straight to the departure along. We will tell you that. So anyway, as we, you know, when I sidetrack on them things, so, as you're looking right now, you know, you're looking at Tyson, and guess what? 
Tyson, you know, nobody feels that Tyson, Dudu Babs, although Dudu Babs son is behind the killing of Tyson and they were friends. Guess what? It, <laughs> boy, hey, based on information received, Dudu, um, Tyson was allegedly killed by, he was, he was a sacrificial lamb for the, uh, so, hey, you see the U20M Gary, um, who was related to Dudu, uh, who was um, a confidant of Dudu Babs. And all I'm telling you, know, when him told the people, he used them, you know, the other day, you know, said Banks are the man who are responsible for the death of Tyson, you know. Yes, allegedly, yeah, man. So when him uttered the words, them in time, Banks was there and them in an argument, and yes, I know he's not lying. So the youths, them from South Bar, and them thing there, eh, and you know, them said it back to them people at Craig Town, and uh, Rick Dick and all of them people there. Eh. So you have to understand. So this guy, by the name of, uh, the guy who was running in Tyson's seat, He's the one, he's the one that, um, yes, he was, that is, this is his reward, you know, for supporting Mark Golden to make sure that Lisa, because, guess what, Tyson, you know, Tyson wasn't a Mark Golden fan per se, you know, because of um, um, Fitz Jackson, yeah, Fitz Jackson, that are the PMP uh, member of parliament, Fitz Jackson's Yes, yeah, so, so based on information received and obtained, so the killing of Tyson, you know, it has no, it, um, all of the things that have been circulated, they killed Tyson to make, um, to make way for this man, Omar Ibanks, to run for the seat. Can you believe it? So they killed this man, you know, and then they went to the man funeral, the same Banks. You understand? So the people them from Craig Town now, because be your son, what they have heard from him saying things about Dodo Bob's tongue. So they might point, yeah, they might say, all right. Since, yes, they might say, if the police them, if the police them do certain investigation, they'll be able to find the links between him and Dodo Bob's and all these people. So that's why them don't, them, them shock to know that all of these things have been revealed publicly. So he's the guy now, yes, so he's the guy that makes sure that um, Lisa Anna, Lisa Anna did not become the leader of the PMP criminal organization. So it's all politics. Anyway, so we we'll continue the journey. So as we tell you, we're going to give you a video, a, a download. Um, you know, we're going to give you the information about um, these people, what they have done to um, to Tyson. We yeah, we make a video about that. So anyway, so moving on. As we tell you today, we, yeah, it's really about not uh, about um, you know um, Tyson, but we're just gonna give you just a little snips of what's going on. You understand? So, as you know that uh, Melissa Sylvia, she was one, you know, she was one before she was killed. Yes, but she didn't listen because you have to understand you know, that there there's this woman, and we're not gonna call her name. You understand? But she did. She she had warned them, but uh, Melissa Sylvia did not take the, um, take heed to the wa to the warning. You understand, and that's why she pay the price, the ultimate price. As you know, when they say the ultimate price, that means you pay with your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because them say, you know, if you know hear, you will feel. I just saw it go on them thing there. So she never did hear, so she so she feel. So that's why it's good enough to listen. Yes, when you listen as a person, yeah, it protect you in every way because. All you have to do is just take heed, but she did not. So that's why she lose her life. I just saw it go. And, you know, it's sad. It's just one of those things, you know. We just wish that um, it wasn't like that and things would be totally different and she would be here. But, you know, people, sometimes even your enemy, you have to listen to your enemy because sometimes your enemy have better information, you know. You understand? Yeah. You know, so... Why Jamaica is just, uh, you know, it's a, it, it, it's it's just a swamp with corruption. So as you look right there, you know, you know, you see now a man by the name of that man name is Willie Williams. I you so hear about him? Right? The same PMP criminal organization killed that eighty-year-old man. That man has lost his life all because the same when it go right back to Mark Golden, Peter Bunting, yes. This man had lost his life, and there's a video on the channel about it. He had lost his life all because he had supported P Dr. Peter Phillips and refused to, to take the money from Peter Bunting. Yes, take the money from Peter Bunting and to 
influence the other delegates them to vote for Peter Bunting. Now that's how Peter Bunting did not win um, the leadership for the PMP. You know? And that's how this man was killed. The PMP killed this man. There's videos on the channel about this man. They killed him all because he supported Dr. Peter Phillips. And the man, 10 days before he was killed, you know, the man won the PMP. I care about it, you know. And I see him PMP counsel him, innocent James kill him. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You, um, the video is right up there. 10 days before this man was killed, the man won Jamaica, won the PMP. So look here, to the leader, even Mark Golden, them know are some wicked people, them, you know, may I tell you, you know. Yes, man. So, you talk about boy, you labor right. No, look here. I'm a Jamaican. You're not a labor right. Nothing. You, if, as I said to you before, you say if you love killing, I love people killing other Jamaicans. That's right with Mark Golden. Because Mark Golden is the man, you know, he's going to turn up the violence in a Jamaica. You understand? So, those of you who are, who are like um, vampire and love blood and love see, um, funeral and love when time them kill your black brother and your black sister, that's right with him. I just say it go. Don't ride with nobody else, just ride with Mark Golden. Yeah, man, Mark Golden are the man where, you understand, we believe in a killing people and for power. You understand, I saw this man lose his life, you know, Willie Williams. So the video of them is on it, you understand. So if you look, if you look, look, at, look on the channel, so a PMP kill him. Them threaten him life 10 days before, him beg them 10 days before them kill him. Say, please, nobody kill me because me are old man and this and that. Oh, them never care about that. Them still kill him anyway. I just saw it go. I saw them roll. So, moving on. So, um, you're going to hear from this. So, um, in this video, you know, we delve into the shocking story of Melissa Silvera and the tragic consequences. She faced while disregarding a warning that could have saved her life. Discover the chilling truth behind the PMP criminal organization led by Mark Golden and Peter Bunting. These people are criminal minded people, you know. Yeah, man, I tell you. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Peter Bunting, you know, by a brave sister who risk it all to speak out. She's a PMP, you know. Yeah, man, and she, well, when I say she's anonymous, but you're going to hear for her, you're going to hear for herself. But, um, yeah, we just ask, yeah. You know, so now she have a she have a YouTube channel called Jamaica Politics Uncover. She's a PMP supporter, you know? she's a part of the PMP um, one PMP here yeah, with Peter Phillips them and I so yeah, you know if you know support Mark Gold in them, them come for you and them come. But if you know support Mark Gold in Dayton Campbell and Peter Bunting and Angela Brownberg, she kinda right now, Angela Brownberg has she she have given up her American citizenship. Uh, Angela Brownberg, you know that her father is the late. Anthony Brown, the most um, wanted man in a Jamaica. So I saw it going to PMP, you know, once you commit crime, your family member commit crime for them, they will be rod you. So, yeah, so that's how she get her um, um, MP seat. Um, that's how she get her become council and become all me for Kingston and all of these things. You understand? I saw it go. So you have your family who commit crime for your PMP. Yeah, don't worry, you're going to get a position because it's a criminal organization. You, know? you can't rise up the rank, you know. We thought you have blood, blood on your hand. As I hear the guy with him, Omar, Omar Ibanks, I was telling people, say, boy, the people they want to say, because him not, uh, him not a blood on him, and him not a criminal and this and that. Just listen, not, I, not everything that people say, you must believe them and them thing there. You understand? You know? And the, the other thing is that, um, yes, and we are telling Mr. Ibanks and them thing that, yeah, man, we forward something to the DA about you. Yeah, because... Yeah, because narcotics police in Jamaica say it is true that based on info, based that it's a long time they have been watching you that you are involved, allegedly involved in nefarious, you're involved, um, based on information that you're involved in drug dealing and they are saying that you're allegedly laundering money. So all of them things that you attack say you sell police and this and that and them things because they do not see how you amass this amount of wealth. You understand? And how you start. So, maybe you can come back to the Jamaica Young Police Channel and try, for, and try to convince us that you are really not that you, you know, you were not arrested and charged or convicted for, for drugs in the United States of America. So, you understand? After we, we have done certain um, background check about you, but based on information, you know, they say you, you have been spending certain kind of money in Jamaica. You understand? So, uh, we we'll continue the journey. Yeah, moving on. 
So as uh, so so this brave so this brave sister, yeah man, she risked it all to speak out against um these people. So um yeah, she healed from our from our um Jonestown, Kingston twelve community. Yeah, she's from the same community where I'm from. Yes, I, I had yeah, I had a I had spoken to her and she you know, we have, we have a cordial conversation. I am not going to discuss what I discuss with her over YouTube. But as I've said, and I continue to say to people that, look, nothing beat honesty. You know, you know that Jamaican people, were, um, we were cultured, nurtured, socialized and domesticated to be pathological liars and criminal-minded people and support criminality. Especially because you have to understand you know, the reason why we are at this juncture in Jamaica you know, is because of the years of the PMP criminal organization running the country. What they have done, you know, they um, allow the criminals them to kill people whilst they and cast, uh, make the population distracted while they pillage out the people's coffers. Yeah, man, them thief, a criminal, them. They're not, they're not politicians, you know, they don't make people life better. You know. They're going to make the rich people life better and them say they miss for the poor. When the PMP is the only criminal, only party in a Jamaica when they're government, tax egg. Egg I, I, I cheapest thing in a Jamaica and them tax it and a poor people must eat egg. We are tell you that. You understand? So we at the Jamaica Young Police and we respect our, pri respect our privacy and with her, her true identity, understanding the grave danger she faces from the PMP criminal organization. Yes, and you're going to hear her for yourself. Yeah, you're gonna hear her later in the in the video, which has more you know she has more adversaries than one can fathom. Although some may rec recognize her by different aliases, we honor her choice to remain anonymous. Yes, so one key figure within the criminal network criminal network is Kevin O'Brien. Yeah, man, Kevin O'Brien is a close confidant of Mark Golden. Yeah, so you know that um, Kevin O'Brien. He's a close confidence of opposition leader, Mark Golden. Yeah, boy, I'm tell him, you know, Mark Golden wife deal with it if you know so if your husband um, blood started upon him shoulder and him thing. Then. You know, say, you know, I tell you, Mrs. Golden, you know, your husband, the way he's going about things to attain power, it's going to fight your children. Children will have to pay for his crimes. All of them blood there. We, we know about Sweeney and rum punch blood, you know, that already depend upon him shoulder, you know. He can't escape that, you know. You understand? And we can tell you that before even election, we are make we are gonna make sure that we do some things. Because people you not know, get away with killing other people. We hate that. That's why we join the police force. So no guy can't come tell we nothing on them thing there. Yeah. So our mission go beyond just shedding light on these nefarious activities. We strive to bring awareness to the relevant, f relevant federal law enforcement agencies in the United States of America. By doing so, we hope to urge the State Department to revoke visas as some of these violent culprits who pose a genuine, genuine, genuine threat, not only to Jamaican citizens, but also to the integrity of the international community. Join us in unraveling the truth that Melissa Silvera ignored the witness the incredible bravery of a woman who became a voice for justice. Yeah man, stay tuned for our jaw dropping revelations, compelling evidence and thought provoking analysts as we expose their dark secrets. Together we can ensure that the sacrifices made by Melissa Silvera will not be in vain. So you know we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, yes, we make blogs video about corrupt politicians corrupt police officers, corrupt judges, gunmen who, who are parasites to law-abiding citizens and the criminal rights groups. Because we believe that corruptors and murderers must live in fear of losing their freedom and lives. If this is the first time here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we highly recommend subscribing to stay updated with our latest content. Hit the subscription button above. Click the bell icon and select all. To receive notification remember to give this video a thumbs up if you want and to show your appreciation and find it helpful and informative 
Yes, you can join the Patreon squad. By joining the Patreon squad, by doing so, you will gain access to exclusive content that cannot be played on YouTube due to various restrictions to unlock this untapped collection of videos. Click the link in the description box below. Join our Patreon community. Allow you to explore the, conf the content that allows and complies with laws, rules and regulations while avoiding disruption to our channel functionalities. Thank you for your continuous support and we look forward to providing you with exceptional content. We are, dedicate, we are dedicated to educating and informing our audience about the issues facing our beloved Jamaica. Yes man, our mission is to inspire, encourage you to unlock Jamaica's true potential. We believe that knowledge is power and that by spreading awareness we can regain control of our country from the 63 individuals who have repeatedly failed us. One thing that you can count on on us is the truth and nothing but the truth. So we're not here to spin nothing from a political party, you know, sir. We don't care about a guy where we want to say, boy, uh, boy, we're not a labor right them things. No, we don't know that. You understand? We don't in a that. You understand? We're just here to tell you the real mama papa truth. So we want you to listen. Yeah, man. So moving on, you're going to hear from the sister and you're going to hear us again. So you watch, you listen, you decide. Yeah, man, because we just all about the truth. If you, as we tell you, you know, and we say to all Jamaican, we don't care where you strive. If you love the killing, if you love the murder, a murder for murder, man from on the road, kill man down the road and them thing there, and you love it, just ride with Mark Golden. We are telling you that, we are telling you that. Because we see Mark Golden roll with Dan, Danfield Palmer. We see CMPMP kill this man, um, kill Comrade Willie Williams. Yeah, man. And we're not going to make him dead go in vain. So if you don't love the killing, just ride with Mark Golden and Peter Bunting and um, Anthony and Angela Brown, the daughter of um, Anthony Brown. If you don't love the murder, just ride with them. Don't look for no, no, other, no other candidate, nobody else. Just support them. We are telling you that. So if you, if you, don't, if you, if you don't love the murder, extortion, robbery, rape a 91-year-old mad, um, grandmother, and all of these things, just ride with them people here. Yeah. Because you can't see them. You know, see M16 where them got where, where them where them issue out and all them things they were coming out. Them bring the man coming at Jamaica and if you kill the Prime Minister. So if you don't love the violence, you understand because you know them want to turn this thing you know, in a civil war in a Jamaica you know, because them care the, 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 the people are reject them and them violence. So if you want the violence and you love the killing and you want the them bomb out people house, your neighbor house and threaten people life and all of these things, ride with them. Ride with the murderous cult, cult, um, cult, the PMP criminal organization. Just ride with them. You know, it's me not telling nothing about no other party. You know, me I tell you, say, if you love the killing, just go with them. Yeah, just go with them. Nobody, nobody, look now. Yeah, yeah, just ride with them. Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Um, this video is not your ordinary video. Um, this video, I'm just asking. Any one of you who know the person in this recording, you want to contact the Jamaica Young Police Channel because this recording you know, is not an ordinary recording you know, because this is something, this is very, very serious. You understand? It's a very, very serious recording that somebody had sent to me. And if you know the person, uh, remember um, the WhatsApp number for the uh, Jamaica Young Police Channel. But I'm gonna. Um, the reason why you're looking at that picture there, that it is alleged that a PMP counselor threatened the life of um, Comrade Lesmore Willie Williams. Yes, is because they are threatening him. You know, a counselor threatened his life, and they killed him. Yes, PMP killed PMP. Yes, it's a counselor. It's a woman who's in the PMP party called this man, and they and. The cones that threatened his life, and he told it, um, Comrade Williams, you know, told him before he was killed. Ten days, it's on this channel, you know, ten days before he was killed, that the PMP, I, um, tell, he told the PMP hierarchy that his life was in danger, and they did nothing about it. And the reason why they did nothing about it is because this man, Comrade Williams, is a very influential man in the PMP LGBTQ plus party. And they had wanted him um, back then when um, 
Peter Bunting. Peter Bunting, yes, the same quote. When Peter Bunting is um, was running to be leader of the PMP LGBTQ plus party to oust Dr. Peter Phillips from the um, from the leadership, because it's all have to do with revenge. Because Peter Phillips had challenged Portia Simpson Miller for the leadership, so they wanted to re um, revenge on him. And you understand, and because she had lost the election, so she had to resign. You know, she was forced to resign. So it was like a paid back to make certain that he did not become um, become um, the prime minister of Jamaica. In which, hey, look, what goes around comes around. He could not wait his turn, so he's the first opposition leader in the history of Jamaica never to become prime minister, and because of his selfish and greedy, you know, greedy hunger for power. So now this lady, her life is really in danger. So that's why I need her to contact me. Because I need to understand. Because um, she said that she had reported them to the FBI. Yes. And that is good. But I want you, that is very, very good. Because the thing is that now, once she report them to the FBI, the person who sent the threat, that person, they can extradite that person. And you know what Uncle Samuel do? Uncle Samuel wait patiently until the same person who sent the threat to her online just wait until that person arrives in America and just arrest him. Yes, because there will be a federal warrant for him. Because when you, tr you cannot transmit threat to an American or someone living in America via the internet or anything. So it's just like even the lie will send the threat to me about Christopher Brother J. Ebert wanted to kill me. It's just the same thing, you understand? So, you know, Uncle Sam is waiting. So I want you to listen to this lady speaking about the PMP LGBTQ plus party and I have no reason to disbelieve her that they will kill her because the man had sent the threat to her you know so you know when I tell people you know they, um, that these people are not ordinary people you know people think that you know it's it's a late um, why I am a labor right and this I don't care what nobody wants to say I am for truth rights and justice I'm on no side I'm on the side of Jamaica and law and order I want you to listen to this lady you understand? And anyone who have, uh, have um, contact with her, ask her to, you know, the number is right there for her to contact the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Text me first. You understand? When you contact me, text me first. You understand? And also, uh, when you text, you just text and say, um, the, um, yeah, just, 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 just text and say, boy, you get the, the death threat um, from the PMP hierarchy. You understand? So, yeah, they, they were dirty for real because they see them kill Lesmore Williams and Lesmore Williams in I party before all of them and them still kill him and they do nothing about it all right I so dare you to step on the side of Jamaica I dare you to I am leaving this message in this whatsapp space say put the law enforcement agency in a Jamaica and in America upon alert this morning one Conrad O'Brien um, advised that to Mark Golden and the current PNP led by the Rise United People. Him, Conrad, I got tell me, say, him dear me for come back at Jamaica. Now, I take that as a threat. I take that as a threat and as a threat on my life and on the life of my daughter because I don't travel without my daughter. Right? I'm a one the world and the people in Pino. So, you see, the next time I go to Jamaica, if anything happened to me, if my car crash, because I always drive myself when I'm in Jamaica, don't let nobody drive me. If my car crash, if I pick up a gunshot, if my paizo, if any, anything happened to me, is Mark Golden, Peter Bunting, and Dayton Campbell. Yes, because they are the only ones with me, with me and them in a problem. And me and them in a problem because they try to smear me. I'm a run out pan them and start talk up the things about them on social media. Cause a girl like me is not gonna sit down and make no look at accused pedophile boy and him friend them come style me and try to mess up my character for come interfere with my livelihood as a parent to a teenage girl. So to the Jamaica Constabulary Force and 
all law enforcement agencies in a Jamaica, I don't report to the FBI already. But if a FBI agent in a WhatsApp hear this, hello, it's me, CM1. I want them to know, say, these look dirty men in the People's National Party. They murder us, they eat women, and the evidence is out there. So they eat women, and they murder us, and then we do anything at all because apparently i pose a threat to their political future and them say that power corrupts so i would be surprised if them really want to kill me for true i mean i put nothing past them because i know as a former member of the pnp i know that these people are wicked and murderous so you know what now like i said i don't live in fear and i do plan to come back to jamaica when i have the time and i will come back to jamaica when i have the time and therefore if i come to jamaica and anything happen to me i want the united states government and me no say as a u.s citizen if me dead at jamaica me no say them is going to be looking into what happened right and that's why i have to talk out of my mouth and, and make my make the people them aware out of social media say me and them people they're in a, in a problem and me don't give them the lowdown already about the sabotage what them do and how them wicked and how them go about politics me don't explain all of that to the fbi already i mean not hold my mouth and talk you know yes me talk to the fbi because they were sent to me i didn't seek them out so with that being said i want to know the bunting, the golden, the Conrad O'Brien and them. Them threaten me. They say me can't come back to Jamaica. I'm not to come back to Jamaica. So people, people, it look like so them a plot for murder me. Me not run from them. Me not hide from them. Them have to go kill me. Because me not walk with fear. And me don't work with fear. You understand? So me are going to send this to the police commissioner. The deputy police commissioner, they now go come down and leave me. So I want to send this to FBI. Everybody need to forget this and hear this about these murderers. Have a nice day. Yes, to the to my all my loyal viewers and subscribers. Did you listen what that um what the man the message that the man had sent to this um this woman? It's a threat on her life, you know. Remember the video that I played first the introduction is to remind you people you know in december last year you know they killed this man you know lesmore willie williams you know the same pmp party you know headed by mark golden the man that say he want to give eight years some murderers so that's why um so when this when 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 they send the threat to this woman you know it's it's not joking you, know. you understand because they are killed um lesmore williams who has been in the party this man is was this man nearly 80 years old he has been in the party longer than all of them you understand and he has never the, the man has never changed his political affiliation and they kill him all because of the same peter bunting and in the same circle you understand and these are the people who say they want to lead jamaica and the pmp party is a criminal organization and i said that without any apologies because you know that mark golden is not going to do this man nothing in a cause is this confident in a, just look at all of the things you know, that mark golden is doing right now you know mark golden is build, building a buffer you know to show you that criminality is the um is the order of the day in jamaica see uh, mark golden he brought back current spencer who thief him Hundreds of millions of the Jamaican people scuff have come back from thief. So it's a criminal organization you know, and this lady's her life and her child and her daughter's life is in danger of these um these big bingo bang panty men, you know, who their ego is a little bruise. Yes man, I would like uh, even you to say, I would like would you guys to send me a threat to you know threaten my life to I would love that. Yeah man, so you know send me a threat, you know you understand because you people is a crypt the pmp party yes man i am convinced now that is a criminal organization and when i say it i say it without apologies when i was growing up i saw two policemen big youth and police barry issuing guns at the corner of love street and price street for pmp member of parliament anthony sparling 
yes it's at the labor right destroy my community is the pmp and the pmp is a criminal organization all they do is this terrorism the, the burning down of houses they started it the pmp the pmp are the ones that that killed the people at pn avenue and took over their, their their buildings the people who live in the high-rise building at pn avenue you know, they are not the legal owners you know these people they are imposters and the ears the people who own the, the ears to this house to these buildings supposed to get reparation the government supposed to give them reparation these people supposed to be if um they're supposed to lick down them building there because these people don't own it there's capture it's just like how russia go inside of crime here and capture crime here is the same thing that the pmp did with pn avenue is a terrorist organization and nobody no police nobody nobody in my family nobody could not convince me to operate in a that in a spear like that i believe that everybody supposed to live in this world have the same rights why you feel you want to dictate to me and tell me what i can say from what i can't say and if i say anything your feelings hurt because you're a man baby and you're a bingo bag panty yes man i need this lady to contact me jamaican people and people in the um in the diaspora if you want but the jamaica you know <laughs> you have to know who not to look to you know because these people you know they are terrorists you know it's a criminal organization they are operating remember you know extortion you know is the pmp lgbtq plus party you know, along with the jamaica constabulary pmp force normalize and, and normalize and legalize extortion in jamaica remember that you know for the 18 years you know and what kind of just jamaica come I, look here i don't care when a guy want to say you know, i'm not here to tell nobody no preach nothing and, and, and but boy what about this is a woman oh and god sir a, a big long tone man boy i got sent check to a woman because the woman i speak up oh, the truth hurt on the guilty yeah man and i i, I just I, I hope yeah man i hope she have a case number from the fbi and all them thing there yeah. you understand and and you know contact our, our, our political representative and put some fire so them extradite you or make or just wait till you come one of two yeah man you look on a nice 15 year prison term that you must think of jamaica where they're they, they are one yeah now nah, man them days there and a sight going to america yeah man well, yeah, I'm, ups, I'm upset man you know these people who who want to run the country are criminals all of them mark golden <laughs> Mark Golden is the worst opposition leader ever. You understand? Peter Bunting do all kind of things and and the in the the CM the CM integrity uh, brother with the Greg Greg Christie away by name, they released something about um Ian Eels committing crime in my wife. The PMP you know the, the P PMP LGBTQ. So those people of you who are not really listening to the sister, you have known that the thief in Melissa Sylvia, she was warned by this woman. But in her address that I'm thinking, 2023. So Jamaican people, if you know what, she's from the belly of the beast. She is from the belly of the beast and she was operated in the PMP space because she's a PMP criminal organization. One supporter and, and PMP activist because she was riding with Dr. Boss, she can't Peter Phillips. You understand? Band, you understand? Yeah, she's the other the um, uh, represent the other part of the PMP like criminal all, organization, all and, and you know that she has yeah, followed with, with them big, because I look here with Mark Golden, Peter Bunting, Angela Brownberg, David Campbell. Is she there with them or against them? You can't. There's no other way. So that's why Tyson lose him life. So they kill. So look, so they kill. Let's more Willie. Let's more Willie Williams in a Montego Bay. That man was almost 80 years old. That man is a dieted PMP. And the reason why them kill him is because he did not, he, the man did not take the money from this woman that um, Peter Bunting had give money to give to him to buy out the other um, comrades to vote for him, for him to become leader. So a buy vote thing, you know. You understand? And, and, and she and she is the same one who called him and why them killed him. But the man he had known 10 days before they, they killed him that they were going to kill him. And he begged the PMP criminal organization led by Mark Golden that please 
don't let them kill me and them still kill him. Because, yeah, Peter Bunting, yeah man, Peter Bunting, them want him blood. Yeah, um, BS, um, BS and he did not accept the money and swing the election to Peter Philip, um, to Peter Bunting. So Peter win, Peter lose. So Peter Phillips win, Peter Bunting lose. And because um, Lesmore Willie Williams did not support Bunting, they killed him. Even even before the even although um Bunting even after uh, Mark Golden, you know when Peter um, Peter Phillips lost the the election with um Andrew Wallace, because the the story is them just hungry for power, and I like you know I like back in the days and everything I like how Edward Sierra him lose multiple election and he wasn't challenged the leadership because them know say I just one leader but you know the PMP. Peter Phillips set the pace that if um, yeah, the, the leadership of a party lose the election, yeah, you challenge them. So he's the one that started it in us. Challenge Porsche Simpson Miller. So them say, see him now if we stick goat, I'd stick sheep, so I'd stick him. So that's why I'm gone. So him set the precedent. So he had to step down when um, after he had lost the election to, um, to Prime Minister Andrew Wallace. And that's how these, these rice people take over the, um, the party. What they have done um, is they spend money, buy votes. Um, Omar Ibanks, one of the key person in a Saint Catherine, because before then, you know, if you're listening, you know, in Saint Catherine, you know, before then, you know, they weren't able to cut through that wall to um, to get rid of um, Peter Phillips. But after Peter Phillips left, now that's how they were able to. Make our way through and prevent um, Lisa Anna from becoming the leader of the PMP criminal organization. It's all about by votes. So that's why you listen, Omar, Omar Ibanks, yeah, man, the, the, um, the, the PMP council that they said, who oh, you allegedly have an an. Listen, you know, listen carefully. The same guy when he named Banks, where um, had a, a conversation with Gary, and Gary was talking with men from his gang. Um, affiliated with Dodo Bops and as he have stated right there then and there that um that banks allegedly have something to do with the debt of Tyson and that's how he that's how the PMP you know they, they gave him him the nod because you have to understand you know that it has to do with Fitz Jackson and Peter Phillips because the party is divided it's not a united PMP criminal organization so it's just the good people them now have to save the country from these people. But if you love the killing, just ride with them. So Omar Ibanks, yeah man, the same guy when he banks a Portmore, yeah man, that same guy. Yes. Based on information received and obtained from reliable sources that he had an an in the debt. Yeah man. Based on uh, allegedly have an in the debt of Tyson. The councillor Tyson. So that's why him a walk around and gonna use badness against the same PMP them. Because him claims that, oh, there's no night there's no night and day between him. You, hey, me never hear, a, hey, I'm going to tell you, you know. You hear the man, or the man, a, a boast about him and him affiliation with criminality, you know. Yeah, man. So, me know, you, you know, a boy, a uncle, some we have to rely upon now if we take some action against these people. You, you see him, like how America and Canada, politicians in a, in a 80, yeah, man, them put sanction them, them can't travel. Them freeze them funds and all of these things. Jamaica people not reading us, so they wanna know this. You have to read the internet, you have to read the New York Times, Washington Post and 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 all these people. And the Wall Street Journal to know what's going on. So the America have to do something about these Jamaican politicians who are involved in criminality. And we wanna say right now, and we just yeah, we just tell you real mama papa truth. It's just one side we say involving our criminality. Yeah man, one side and a PMP criminal organization. We never see Mark Golden denounce violence. There's no reason for Andrew Wallace to denounce violence because he's not supporting it. Yes, yeah, so we have to give him credit for that. And you understand? And uh, him, we totally against violence. We believe in a people for live free from fear, from corrosion, from parasites, and from their henchmen. Jamaica is supposed to be free to do what they want to do. As the woman have stated, if Melissa 
Sylvia had listened to her deliver last year, she would be alive. She is from the PMP criminal organization internally. Because she, you know that she um, is one of Pete, um, Philip Paulwell surrogates. Yeah, we are telling that same thing. Just like Karen, um, yeah, you know Karen, um, sis, um, yeah, you know um, Karen, yeah, Karen Wall is a beat of the PMP criminal organization. Yeah, Karen Cross, yeah, Karen Cecilia Cross, yeah, she a P the both of them are PMP, you know, you understand. So, and they must speak the truth. And you know, same time fish come from down in a canal or the river until it's a shark living there. Yeah, so what? But um, fresh water. You better believe fish. You understand? Because fish live in a river. You understand? You don't live down there. So when time she had tell us that they a murder or sick, she been there, done that. So she know. So if you want to disbelieve her and take it for a joke, you know, are you are going to pay in your long run, you know? And maybe with your life. I mean, you know, one life each person. But apparently, the PMP criminal organization supporters seem like they have two and three lives. Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.